Hello and welcome to Business Management Capstone. I'm so glad all of you are joining me online this semester. Uh, it is going to be a great class. Uh, Capstone is one of your final classes for most of you. I am so looking forward to seeing you guys graduate at the end of the term. Uh, so just to give you guys a brief overview, again, my name is Shannon Corcoran. I'm one of the main instructors in the business management program. I've had most of you before. However, if you haven't had me, welcome. Uh, so a little bit about myself. I've worked in the education, higher education field now for, I have to count, 10 years. This is my 10th year. Uh, prior to being at Western, um, I used to teach at Rochester Community and Technical College. I was in the retail management as well as interior decorating program. Now at Western, I'm in marketing, entrepreneurship, and business management. Uh, so kind of a wealth of different areas that I've taught in. Prior to teaching, I worked in the industry for 13 years, uh, several different companies, several different types of management positions. I won't go into real depth just to keep this video short. Uh, so welcome to Business Management Capstone. Again, it's one of your last courses in the program. I am so welcome or so glad you guys are here. There is no textbook for this course. There is, however, reading material and videos that are free that will be linked in each weekly folder. Uh, the course syllabus as well as the schedule is posted. The schedule in this class is tentative. We might make a few adjustments. Overall, it's pretty... Uh, pretty solid. I usually don't have many changes to our capstone uh, curriculum from term to term. Uh, we'll be working on two major projects this term, which encompass, encompass each one is a third of your grade, and then the other third of your grade is all the assignments that contribute to completing those two projects. So the first project that we are going to work on is the entrepreneur uh, store that you guys are going to operate. Uh, and that is done through a simulation. At this time, you guys should have received an email from Interpretive Solutions. Uh, that will be your sign-up link that does have an expense associated with it. Uh, it's right under $30 to purchase that. You'll want to get that done this first week, if not already, uh, because we start with two practice rounds this week, and then next week we will start going through each quarter. We do eight quarters in the simulation. Each week you will have um, a financial portfolio to complete related to your quarter as well as a special decision written summary as well as a log of decisions that you create. This class does entail a great deal of research to support the decisions you're making. The best part is, is you are in your end, the end of your um, degree you have already learned all this information, so now you're just pulling from that knowledge you've obtained in all of your previous courses and applying it, supporting it with research, um, and putting together your project. Uh, so we'll go through eight quarters for the simulation. You'll do that individually over the first seven weeks of the term. Uh, the remainder of the term, you guys will work in a team. Uh, teams will be anywhere from three to five students. You guys will sign up based on interest. Uh, you'll look at, I highly recommend this first week, we have a discussion board where you get to know one another. See what everyone's availability is so that you can work together on that project based on the times that you're available. Uh, so with that final project that you do as a team, you guys will evaluate one another at the end of the project. You'll put together a business plan. Uh, I highly recommend doing a service-based industry for your business plan. Nothing can be made up. You're going to research. You're going to do uh, some firsthand marketing surveys to gather information to support your business plan. And you'll put it together as a team, and then you'll also present those as a team at the end of the term. Uh, so those are the two main projects. Our class in here for our online runs Tuesday to Monday. We'll have discussion boards for the first six or seven weeks here of class. So you'll have two due dates on discussion boards. The first post will be due on Fridays, and the second post will be due on Monday, or the reply posts, the two that you'll need to complete, will be due on Mondays at 11.59. Uh, so every week you'll have a Friday due date as well as a Monday due date. All of your assignments will be listed in the weekly folders. 
Uh, your two major projects each have their own folder in your Blackboard shell, so you can easily access that information. Uh, the syllabus and the schedule is available with a brief overview on all of those projects as well. Uh, so th this class is a lot of work. Uh, you need to stay on top of things. If you fall behind one week, it, it's extremely difficult to catch up. Um, students that fall behind two weeks or you miss some things one week and you miss some things another week historically um, have a really tough time passing the course. So it is critical to manage your time effectively and efficiently throughout the entire term so that you can successfully complete this class and I can see you at graduation on the 20th of April. Uh, so stay on top of things. The information is there. It's available. You can work ahead. When you start with your team on the business plan, we're going to break it down into sections. So you'll have different sections due each week. However, you can work ahead with your team. So if you know life um, or work or something is going to throw a few curveballs at you, uh, you can work ahead. Uh, the simulation, you can do some of the research ahead of time. However, you can't, you can't move your simulation ahead. You have to do it by the due date. Um, so it's critical that you log in, make those decisions in the simulation software, which is interpretive, by the due date, or you'll miss out, and then you lose you lose all those points for that term, and you don't want that to happen either. Um, we do have a strict no late work policy in the course. We're preparing you to get out and step into those professional careers. I know my boss doesn't allow much leeway uh, when assignments are or when our projects are due classes start, I can't just be like, oh, I think I'll start it two weeks from now. Uh, that, that just doesn't happen. It's not going to happen in the workforce. So we're making sure you're ready to work, get things done, and preparing you for your professional career. Therefore, late work's not accepted. However, if life does happen and you don't get something in, I have a give me a break pass. Um, I just feel that you guys should be given a break in order to make up when that uh, life event occurs. So you can find that in the syllabus in greater detail. You can use that give me a break pass to make up one assignment that you missed sometime between um, now and week 12. However, if you don't use it, you get extra credit, so you're rewarded. Uh, if you do have great time management skills and don't miss anything as well. So I look forward to a great term. If you guys have questions, let me know. Every week I will do a video. I'll post it in the announcements so that you guys can see what's going on each week. I'll give you an overview, break down the assignments a little bit more, and highlight some key things or some key areas where students might struggle or do extremely well so that can help you uh, manage your time as well. So again, I look forward to a great term. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Let's reach out right away. Uh, so that we don't have any hiccups in the road as we go. So I look forward to getting to know all of you this term. Have a great day.